Hey folks, welcome to another Water Trek 360. Apologize for the wind noise. I'm on a dive boat magician down here in San Pedro, California, heading out to Catalina to do some diving. It's mid-March. Uh, the water's a little cold, 56 degrees. Uh, if you've ever wondered how to stay warm if you're diving with a wetsuit, if you didn't bring your dry suit like myself, and stay warm in cold water like this, well, today I'm gonna test a couple of things out. I've got this little packet called Hot to Go. I'm trying this one out since my older one failed. I have another one here called the Tree Heater. And uh, we're going to see how the two of these do together in my three dives that I'm doing today. If you're going to be doing a lot of cold water diving, I suggest you look at investing in a drive suit and getting the training to use it properly. I've used sodium acetate heater packs since the mid 90s to diminish the effects of water temps below 60 degrees while diving wet. You may have seen my recent video on diving kelp beds off Catalina in February. I didn't bring my dry suit and stupidly I only brought one of my old heater packs. Of course, Murphy's Law, that pack failed due to age and was unusable. So, without the heaters, my first two dives were about 39 minutes each and my last dive was only 30 minutes. I was disappointed. I ordered some new packs online called Hot To Go for my next excursion in mid-March. I tested them against my working older packs on that trip. The water temperature was slightly colder, 54 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I again did three dives. The first two dives I used my older 7x8 packs. For the last dive I used the two new smaller Hot To Go. As I expected, my bottom times increased. I had 49, 47, and 45 minute dives. The depths and general activity, remaining air pressure were basically the same, and one of the dive sites, Big Geiger South, was actually a repeat. I was definitely warmer for the bulk of each of those dives. I netted almost 33 minutes of bottom time for three dives. It was like adding a fourth dive. I didn't like the smallness of the newer packs, so I ordered two larger 8x12 packs online, called Heat Wave. Two weeks later, I tried for a two-tank boat dive from Avalon on Catalina. Unfortunately, the trip was canceled due to the lack of divers, but I was able to do one shore dive at Casino Point. The water temperature was the same, roughly 56 degrees. My profile, however, was significantly different. I maxed at 78 feet and the bulk of the dive averaged 60 feet versus the 40 in the previous dives. Still, I managed a 36 minute dive. Even though I had to put it on 10 minutes before I actually got into the water, the 8x12 packed a lot of heat and kept me going. So how do they work? Each one has an activator wafer or disc that you squeeze, click to start the sodium acetate chemical reaction. Once you do, quickly put it into the wetsuit so it conforms to your body shape. The trick is to stick them in back by your kidneys. It helps warm the blood faster. This can be a challenge if you have a back zipper wetsuit like I do, but usually buddies are kind enough to stick them in just before you don your BC, keeping as much heat as possible as close to the initial entry as you can. They generate roughly 130 degrees Fahrenheit for around 30 minutes. Once the heater pack is expended, the liquid solution becomes hard. To reuse these, you simply boil them. Follow the instructions for boil time. It can vary. I find boiling them wrapped in a cloth helps protect the exterior. Don't microwave them or overboil. I've found once the liquid is clear and all opaque flecks disappear, you're good to go. Gently remove from the boil and let sit until cool taking care not to touch the activation device. You'll know if you had a good boil if once they've cooled, it's still liquid. Otherwise, you need to reboil. Manufacturers tell you they last forever, but I found that after about 100 dives, they're pretty much shot. While the 8x12 covers more area and tends to stay warmer a tad longer, I prefer the 7x8. They are easier to get into the back of the wetsuit and do about as well as the 8x12. The smaller ones, the 3x5s, are okay, but you'll need two, one on each side, and just don't cover the surface area. The 8x12 also requires a larger pot. One challenge I had with the hot to go was the wafer disc. My buddy and I couldn't get them to work on the last dive and almost bailed on them as defective. Finally, by snapping the activator rapidly four to five times, we got it to initiate. It must have been something with first time use. After my first reboil, it worked on only one or two snaps. 
Well, I hope you found this useful. Sodium acetate heaters are a cheap, viable way of taking the sting out of cold water diving with only a wetsuit. There are many different kinds on the market. I do not represent any of these manufacturers. I will put links in the descriptions for the ones that I tested. Check out my recent video on Catalina boat diving. I have another one coming soon. Check out my reviews on the iPhone 13 and 14 Pro as underwater cameras, as well as a review on 20 or so housings that support diving with them. I'm working on a review of three different video apps for the iPhone to help improve video quality, so stay tuned for that. Stay safe in your diving adventures, enjoy the water, and until next time, as always, go explore, get wet.